Welcome back. Elizabeth Salgado's family is seeking help from members of their church. This week marks the seventh anniversary of their daughter's disappearance. Yeah, her remains were found three years later, but her killer has yet to be found. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. The Salgado family believes someone close to her killed her, but their own private investigator isn't so sure of that. How come? A country that has all the technology in the world, they don't have actually, they haven't been able to catch whoever killed my niece. It's a question the Salgados keep wondering as the mystery behind Elizabeth Salgado's murder goes unanswered. She disappeared in broad daylight in 2015. She was walking home from her language school in Provo. Three years later, her remains were discovered in a shallow grave in Hobble Creek Canyon in Utah County. Why is, it, why is it taking too long, you know, for them to actually solve this uh, murder? And uh, um, we know that if it, was, it would have been the president's daughter, this has been already resolved. A spokesman for the Utah County Sheriff's Office says the case remains active and they still get leads, but so far it hasn't resulted in a suspect. On Facebook, Elizabeth's mother reached out to members of her daughter's YSA ward in Provo asking, please be supportive and who my daughter Elizabeth was related to, meaning who did she befriend? And her mother also targets her church friend, Mackie Smith, who moved away after she disappeared. Her uncle says Elizabeth liked young white men. She was very attracted to white people. She was very, very attracted. Like every time she would see a, a white guy, I mean, you know, she was like always excited about it. Their family hired their own private investigator. He isn't convinced Smith was involved. He was very helpful to come forward and really help with getting the message out. And we want to clear him as well. Uh, according to him, he only hung out with her two or three times. Jensen says a construction project was in progress when Salgado disappeared. Salgado passed that site each day she walked to school. There was a report of somebody that worked there that said he thought co-workers may have done something. It's approaching seven years that the family last heard from Salgado. They only hope justice will soon come their way. Our family is not doing good and uh, until we actually get some closure um, and find out what really happened? Anyone with information, especially those from her own church ward, are urged to contact authorities or the private investigator. Visit our website, abc4.com, click on this story, follow the links to those contacts. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.